All right, as for the floor plan, I was in a position where I could build how I wanted to in comparison to the last three builds that I uploaded so far where we pretty much stuck to design that had been there before from the uh, 90s sitcom builds and stuff. So this time I had a bit more freedom with it. Of course, I looked up reference pictures of you know similar builds i think i typed in victorian city villa or something had my browser tabs open just for inspiration but basically i was very much free to build whatever i wanted to the only limitation in quotation marks that i set for myself was that it had to be autumn themed fall themed i wanted to have a living room or dining room that is decorated for thanksgiving and so i wanted to keep to you know fall colors earthy colors reds oranges and browns and as you can see i'm following up with that starting directly from the from the outside and this is actually quite unusual for my building approach because usually i would put down the floor plan and then build from the inside out but I don't know, I thought this time it might be a bit wiser to determine the look from the outside and then continue on the inside. I just hit random when I created the sim that was supposed to uh, live in there. He's standing in the front of the house. I came up then with a little bit of a story, really just minimalistic kind of approach of a story, that he bought this house and renovated it so that we could combine, you know, historical features as well as maybe some extensions of the house for example the conservatory you see right now with the um, you know modern glass roof on top and also the extension in the back that I added it's just hinting that the house is not in its original state but that it's modernized and uh, fully renovated and from the inside when I start building it you'll see that I'm also trying to combine modern furniture with old-fashioned classic kind of furniture and that's actually the kind of style that I really like and that I really like surrounding myself with because I've been told like that my style is granny style <laughs> but a bit I don't know more spice so yeah I was really determined to get that across that yes this is a historical house it is a Victorian build but with a modern twist. Now starting on the inside, I knew I wanted to have a bright wooden floor, like nothing dark, because I didn't didn't want to go for, for creepy. I know that with Victorian builds, it's, you know, it always has the potential to be a bit creepy, a bit, a bit, you know, Tim Burton style. Um, going in that direction but since this is a, a modernized house I wanted to go for you know something nice something light and I struggled a bit with deciding on the kitchen counters I hadn't quite made up my mind yet if I really wanted to go for a classic country style kind of kitchen or just like a sleek modern look because I think I was scared that the the modern look might look too cold might look too clean maybe i was you know afraid that the contrast to the rest of the house or to the outside of the house was a bit too crass but you'll see that i end up with choosing modern kitchen i think it's from the wellness pack or, or day at the spa or whatever it's fucking called that pack comes with very nice looking roundish counters and I chose that design with a red swatch, color swatch. And that just fit in really, really nicely with the red from the doors. The doors, I think, are from... Um, are they from University or are they from Strangerville? I think they are from Strangerville. I think I've said it before, but Strangerville is surprisingly one of my favorite packs. I know a lot of people hate it. But for the items alone, I really like it. I also like the map in Strangerville. But I get that it's annoying that whenever you start a new save file, you have to go through the whole alien infestation storyline and that is very annoying. Do you really have to go through it? Isn't there anything you... Isn't there anything to avoid that? I'm actually not sure. Well, that sucks. Well, then I know why people hate it so much. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> I just want to make an announcement right now as I just look at potential uh, decoration clutter right now. The next speed build I'm going to upload. It's going to be a while because I'm doing a building series on Twitch right now in which I'm building my own version of Hogwarts from Harry Potter. I don't want to split it into different videos because i think that's lame so i'm waiting till i'm actually done with building the castle and stuff uh it might take me one very long stream to finish it and i might do that this friday but until then i won't upload any speed builds until i'm done with the hogwarts thingy i might also not post anything next week because next week is christmas if you haven't noticed is that actually true is christmas next week fuck it is yeah so on the 24th that is next thursday i'm not gonna post anything or maybe i will i don't know i haven't quite made up my mind maybe i will maybe i won't but it it will definitely be something else if i upload anything it'll be something different and not a sims build actually i might have an idea what i can post okay so maybe i will post something next week <laughs> I'm so dumb. Back to the speed build. Uh, here you can see my attempts of combining modern furniture with more classic furniture. I knew that I wanted to have the leather couches. I don't know, leather couches always have something masculine about it. Maybe that's rubbish. And it's also nice because you can always um, add something in contrast. I really can't remember what kind of thing I ended up with. Oh, something, something simple. Alrighty. And for this build, in contrast to most other things I, I build, I try to keep the walls rather clear of pictures. I, I like the more quiet walls in this case for this build anyway. It's gonna become very loud whenever I decided to add the decorations the Thanksgiving decorations but yeah I wanted to keep it on the simple side decorative wise as you know the house would look without any seasonal theme altogether this is a house with two bedrooms potentially but only one bathroom because I'm always I'm always having trouble finding a place to put the downstairs bathroom I don't know why but that's kind of one of my weaknesses when I'm building in the sims I I don't know wherever I place it it seems weird so for the conservatory for the extension of the house I decided to make it a hobby room for our sim and I wanted to give him like you know a very um, special hobby so I thought I make him somebody who likes knitting you know put a nice rocking chair for him there on the out on the porch on the little one the chair that's facing you know to the window where you can just uh, look outside and enjoy the view a bit and that was kind of my approach just to make it really really cozy and um, just create like a nice and, and calming um, atmosphere for him to just practice his hobby you know because i personally would love would love 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 to have my studio in a conservatory that would be very pog and just like i'm doing now that now for my sim i would uh, add lots and lots of plants i find it hard to decorate hallways because they're kind of just a practical thing you know getting from door to door to the different different areas like it does have a function but then again it doesn't have a function so sometimes i feel a bit lost in deciding what i should put in there so in the second bedroom i decided to make it into a cat room because that's another you know story arc of my sim that i created that he fosters kittens um he uses his second bedroom completely for taking care of kittens um that maybe have been abandoned or that he just brought home from the animal shelter and just takes care of them for a while and tries to find you know a permanent home for them and um it was actually quite fun to build this cat room because it really, you know, it, it, it it's kind of ugly, <laughs> but that's what, that's, that's essential what it is to have a pet. Your room will always look messy. If you look around my living room right now, there are cat toys lying around everywhere. Does she, does she play with it even? No, she doesn't, but it needs to be there in case she does want to play with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so the shelves on the wall are there for the cat to climb on. I know that's not a thing in The Sims, but it just looked right. Yeah, the bedroom is kind of basic, I think. Like my first approach was putting in some more old fashioned furniture, but I think I soon realized that this doesn't go with the, with the rest 
of the interior design. But dark wood always looks very, very traditional and very old fashioned kind of. But that's actually quite nice. Oh, look at that. I deleted everything just as I thought. I was actually trying to remember what uh, did I really do that or is this just me thinking I should have done that? But yeah, I'm actually doing it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also decided on a way smaller desk. Well done, me. Well done. I think I was very cautious of not using um, custom content this time. <laughs> so that i wouldn't have to go back and change the stuff or delete it and there is the hallway problem again what, what can you put down there it's just it's, you can just kind of try to make it as nice as possible and as welcoming as possible as for the bathroom i just try to make it nice didn't go with a specific theme but again i really like the warm colors of the tiles it just makes everything look very friendly yeah, and that concludes the bathroom. And I think we are actually quite done with all the interior stuff. Adding some more lights and pictures here and there, I think. But other than that, it's pretty much finished and furnished and decorated. And then I just went on putting up lights that would make it look very homely when it's, when it's nighttime. I always check that with a build when I put uh, lights up from the outside. I just changed around, changed stuff around a bit and decorated or tried landscaping the whole thing. But yeah, you can see I put I'm on trying to put down bushes and add some autumn fall themed plants. We've got some pumpkins on the porch. Here I'm just decorating a little flower bed. You know, stay with the theme of the colors, not choose anything that's too pink or too bright. And actually, it looks quite cute. But you'll see the finished build in a minute when I present you with some screenshots. 